All right, guys, we got a hot one right off rip. We got four kills. Soldier Slim swimming his ass off. His teammates nowhere to be around. And it doesn't seem like Soldier Slim needs any help. All he has is a deagle and a dream. Oh, you know what? You know what? This is where the plane landed. He killed the AFKers. Damn it! I was so excited for Soldier Slim. I was so pumped. And it started dawning on me. I'm like, no way he got four kills with the deagle. And he's still swimming. He's just going in circles. Damn it, I got I got bamboozled. Stop this. Why are y'all going for AFK kills? I don't get it. Your KD doesn't mean it means not your KD means nothing. Nothing. Especially if you don't win the damn game. So instead of him going on this journey winning the game with his said team, he's over here getting AFK kills, probably just to die. Let's let's see what happens to your boy Soldier Slam. 4k5 that's just disheartening brother like dude oh this players like this are why playing with randoms is so damn rough can you figure out how to open the crate brother can you got it together it's a square button or whatever button it is on your xbox controller Gas is closing in. yeah yeah he didn't want to be for nobody look at this man he's got state drift guys if y'all have state drift and you're having trouble with your controllers, make sure you guys check out aim controllers today. These beautiful paddles. Let's listen to that. The crispy crisp. I'm gonna pull them hard. They still work. Weird. Digital triggers. Adaptive trigger. Look at that. Check out aim controllers today. You, you, use code SAVAGE to get a massive discount at checkout. Link is in the description below. But uh, I promise you this right now, Soldier Slim doesn't need this shit. He needs, he needs a brain cell. All right, we have I'm a goat who got tired of Soldier Slim's bullshit and said, you know what, I'm gonna land over here with him. The and let's see what happens. Look at Soldier Slim. And a display case like the bot that he is. Love that. Hey guys, come look at the bot that I found from the from the archaic days. It's crazy. All that to get what? A 2KD this match? I, I just don't understand it. And poor Goat's out here actually trying. He went in hot drop. He got three kills. He did his shit. He died. But if they had that one extra teammate, maybe, just maybe, they'd be doing a lot better. All right, and Goat's moving on. Now look, reticle placement, aiming at the ground. Make sure you guys are fixing that for sure. You don't want that stuff. It's a lot of micro corrections going sideways and having to adjust your verticality as well. Just make sure you're always around the horizon. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you look down to loot, bring it back up. Decent shots, really good shots, especially through the stun. We were out in the open, he was out in the open. And look, drop shotting is great, but when you drop shot in the open and on a ledge like that, you, you don't really change your, your line of sight that much. The principle of drop shotting is closer range. So when you drop shot, they have to look down. And for a split second, you're hidden by their gun. If you have that much distance on you, and again, you're on a ledge, it's not really gonna affect the enemy that much. If anything, you're putting yourself in more of a disadvantage. What's crazy to me is that enemy actually thinks Soldier Slim is a museum model. Camouflage of greatness. Look at this shit. So I like the fact that Goat's out here trying his ass off. He's got six kills. And he seems to be doing just fine despite his teammates AFK um, and, and hiding behind closed doors. I'm not sure exactly what street money is doing. Let's go take a peek. One kill. Um, eh, and then one kill. I love the fact that the trigger discipline, he's not just spraying at everything he sees. He wants to try to sneak up on the enemy and get better leverage. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to make the jumps. And now it might be a little late. Oh God. This is, this is rough. This is rough. All right, me for one, I would have dove back to the AC unit and then reach out through the enemy off. And honestly, at the enemy too, crouch walk in the open, just playing the AC unit to his side, no cover, no concealment. If you want to peek like that crouch, fine by all means, but make sure half your body is at least invisible. But make sure half your body is hidden by that AC unit. Don't make your whole body an entire target. Make as little as possible. Hence why headies are so damn important. All right, moving on. We have the zone shifting definitely more towards our north hand side, which is exactly the way we're rotating to. A lot of pings popping up over there as well. And uh, here we are. Now, this is definitely better than the last two games we spectated that were filled with actual AI. If you haven't seen those yet, make sure you click the link right here. Crazy, crazy video. Definitely a must watch after this one. Enemy on the rooftop right here. I like the follow up with that for sure. I'm surprised he didn't die. The enemy re-challenged and somehow we didn't kill him. I think he's insane for that re-challenge, but he ended up sticking our team with the thermite and it worked out for him. That's just nuts. 
You saw how vulnerable he was. Goat going up, pretty dangerous. Enemy should be expecting this. That wasn't the enemy that challenged to begin with. There he is. It wasn't. Yep. And that's kind of like the things you need to be paying attention to. When you shoot at a target and you're going to push him, make sure you kind of know what that target looks like. So that if you go up there and get in a fight, you can break away and take cover because you know damn well that Santa Claus wasn't the one originally. It was Gilly Suit Boy. And notice Goat changing his position, trying to get a little bit better leverage. I'd probably work my way up to the rooftop. I love the UAV sneak. Another one. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. We need to pop this last plate before we go in. Every sliver of plate matters in this game, especially when you're going up against swarms. And MTZs. With the, with the cluster strike coming in on us, I don't know if I called it precision, but with the cluster strike coming in on us, I would like to see him push this and catch the enemies out in the staircase. He ends up getting one knock. I'm really surprised he's not trying to push the enemies for the internal staircases again. There we go. You got a second thermite kill. Jesus. All right. Again, once we have the knock, once we have the, the cluster falling on the enemy, we should have pushed the internal staircases, caught them in the staircase, and, and gotten some kills. Not to mention one of them was already knocked. That's just unfortunate. Moving on to Street Money JD4. Rocking uh, BSP. His teammates are dead. Goat's coming back. Yellow's coming back. I'm pretty sure Green's still uh, a museum model, to be honest. Yep, yep, there he is. Let's go back to our boy Goat. He seems to be the only one on the team actually trying. He's going for recon, wild. All right, not really, not really too sure of this play. I mean, the circle can't really go anywhere else but here, right? So, uh, yeah, you can get money for sure. We'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. We don't have a Lodi in the zone. I don't believe. Huh, weird. I was off by like three feet. But he does have money now. Let's see what they end up doing. All right, round in the corner, shooting the enemy in the back. That's nice. I don't know why the enemy was just kind of slow walking right there. Watch that rooftop, brother. Watch that rooftop. Dive to cover. Now, this is an active one, bro. I like this. Now, look, even though we're playing, we can kind of catch the enemy in the open still. I'd yeah, I would have repeaked that long ago. The enemy has to come towards us. He might, might make a water play, but still, I, I doubt it. We really need to start thinking about pushing across and trying to get to better position. Because eventually we're gonna end up getting caught out here. And it's not gonna look good for your boys. We have a gas mask. Does Reek? If Reek doesn't have one, this is a monumental waste. And he does not. That is unfortunate, big dog. He might be able to still swim in. Be safe, never mind. Another team in the water. Damn it. I hate water plays. I genuinely do. I try to avoid the water as much as possible. If I'm being shot, I have to go there for sure. But that's why somebody's thinking about rotating earlier. We don't want to put ourselves in that position. Rotate across the bridge, get yourself safe, and get yourself to the next set of buildings. You head to the recon, you know exactly where the circle's going to be. There's really no reason to play the edge as much as we played it. Unfortunately, team carry is down. If I was street money and I knew that he was a team carry, I would try my best to get a to get a buy. It's not that I don't believe in street money. It's just that I don't believe in street money. What is weird is that goat. I guess goat did die after he. Now, when I said to go to buy, I really wasn't implying full send it. You want to go there safely. Shoot the enemies, look around, see who's watching it, get all the wear, look look around, man, open the eyes you got. But he just full sent to his death. Also, if he's playing the, the buy, Reek definitely should have been helping out in that situation. And again, notice the zone. We need to get across. Let's see how long he waits. All right, all right, not too long. He has money. He's not looking around either. He's not checking to the right-hand side where people will usually be at. Oh my God. Not 
there's your boy with the freaking tomahawk. Yeah, dude. He's like knife only and thermite only. In. I kind of want to spectate him, man. We might be able to. Wait, wait. Goat's back. He bought back goat. Precision coming in. Yeah, don't don't full sprint to that. Now, I'm very interested about this team in here. They have been doing throwing knives and thermite and all this shit and just doing wild, wild shit. I'd really like to spectate him. We've watched him get three thermite kills and one melee kill. Let's see if this is the dude. Not, not, not looking like it. Again, staying in the water. Here we are. There we go. Yeah, get the boat, brother. Catch the boat. That way you can jump off in three seconds. Trying to stop it, brother. Trying to make it go reverse. What are you doing? What are you, what are you, speedy? Now this circle is in the open, but you could definitely play the ball. What is green doing? Is this team on drugs? Oh my God, brother. Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Paloy. Your team is ass. And there they are. That's him. That's your boy. Look at him with the melee. I really want to spectate him. I really do. That dude's dead. <laughs> Aim assist. That dude's dead. And look, I know it was the aim assist. I just like pissing y'all off. I really so Every time I mention aim assist, someone in the comments like, Savage, that wasn't aim assist. Shh, relax. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Because you have aim assist. All right, now we got a self res. It's a 3v5 situation. We are a... F it's a 2v5 situation. And we're laying prone. Yeah. Why shoot the guy shooting at us when we can just shoot the guy that's down? All right, so I believe it's a three-man with Mr. Melee. It's, he's a solo. Oh, he's the solo in the game. All right, it's a two-man. So it's Santa Claus and Mr. Melee. Oh, we're in for a treat. Oh, who's going to win? Who's going to win? I don't know what's happening. It's a 1v1 situation right now. Santa's beating off somebody. Any day now, Activision would be sick. Can he do it? Santa, no! Oh, no. That's... I was rooting for Santa and Melee Boy, man. They seemed like they had it together.